and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together you are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, this is an updated video. We've done this one before, but we're going to add a few things to it and shine it up a little bit. Well, we got our new mics, Bob. There's a couple other things we're going to polish up to make this a superior video. Okay, it's two sleeping positions you must avoid. So, by the way, before you do all this, oh. if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. If you go to bobandbrad.com <laughs> and go to the giveaway section, you'll find out we're always giving something away. This yep. week we're giving away, well, maybe this isn't very impressive, but we're giving away some of our merch. Oh, Bob, merchandise. It's, there are people that are going to just absolutely go nuts over this. We got this. strong like bull, we got this, but we, we're going to give away some of our ugly mugs on a mug. Coffee so, cup. Yeah, I guess that's. Evident, isn't it? Yeah. So cheers. <laughs> there, there you there go. go. Uh, you also got the strong like bull on there. That's right? a, that's a nice one. I really like the color. Anyways, uh, uh, you can find it on Facebook. Also, it'll be pinned to the top of the page. Uh, if you want a short version of us, go to Instagram and Twitter. Sixty seconds of Bob and Brad a day. That's about all you can you need to put up with, right? That's right? Okay, people are wondering, two sleeping positions. Uh, the big thing about sleeping position is you want to keep your spine in that neutral position. You want to keep yep. pressure off your joints. Yep. And, That's probably uh, the main two things. You want to keep the spine as straight as possible. Right. And, and you want the, the bony protuberances. You don't want to have too much <laughs> pressure on them because it'll be uncomfortable. Right. It can cause problems. And it can cause pain. Yeah, we deal with this all the time, Bob. Yes, we do. So here we go. Number one, we're going to approach sideline. Now, we're not saying you cannot sideline, but what happens with sideline is there's a few points that you need to do correctly. It'll make a big difference so you can sleep throughout the night and wake up fully rested. Well, I think, Brad, I'll lay down. Oh, and, please do. And um, I'm going to go this way because my mic's on this side. But the first one's going to start with the neck, right, Brad? Right. If a pillow is too thin, watch what I'm – here I'm nice and straight. <laughs> I was going to show without oh, it first. Sorry. If the pillow's too thin, your head's going to be like this all night long, kind of a bent at, at an angle. If it's too too thick – your neck's going to be bent this way. Or, or so, if you like to have two pillows. Yeah, so generally what you're going to want to have is two pillows that puts you about in the middle of the spine in a straight position. Or or one pillow. One pillow is too, not enough. That's not enough. How about, yeah. what if you got one thick one? One thick one might do it. This one's pretty close. Yeah. I would say, you know, it all depends on your shoulders, how wide they are. Yep. Um, it, it, so this is a matter of comfort. Some people take their hand, sure. which probably isn't the best thing, to be honest with you. Because your shoulders then flexed and everything is all yeah. night long, so you know you got to figure out what you need. Sometimes you can fold a pillow in half. You'll know because it's going to feel the comfortable position. Right. Uh, should we talk about the shoulder position? Oh, right. right. Yep, yep. So how about give me two pillows, two? Brad? Yep. By the way, this is a sleep ovation pillow. This is a really nice pillow. It's got um, springs in it. It's got springs in it. Yeah. We. Um, uh, my wife initially said. She didn't want one of these. Yeah. She liked her old pillow. Now she's crying for one. Oh. So <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna make her wait, aren't I'm gonna you? make her wait. Yep. You're darn right, I'm gonna make her wait. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you're having shoulder pain, which my wife is having right now, right. And, and we just had to do this. So she was waking up at four o'clock every morning mm -hmm. with pain. So I said, Did you try the canal yet? She goes, Yeah, I I, I got a thick pillow here. And I'm, I'm taking the pressure on my head. I say, no, you don't listen to us, do you? What you want to do is you need a, a, a small throw pillow. And I went to the other bedroom, and I got her a small throw pillow. Like That's a, a good, good husband, husband should. And we created a canal here. Right there. Yep. So now when I put my shoulder through there, I'm taking pressure here and here. And I'm taking pressure off the shoulder. Right. We did this. She slept all night long without any problem. So a happy wife, happy life, the whole bit. I hope you didn't say I told you so. I didn't say that. I, I've learned a long time yeah. ago not to do that anymore. <laughs> so I actually sleep like this even though I don't have shoulder pain. I've had shoulder pain in the past. I, I sleep like this preventatively. Preventatively. Now, you don't do this, Brad, do you? No. But we can show the other thing. The that, other that, alternative. Right. right, right. So the other alternative is not to sleep right on the point of the shoulder, but roll back a little bit like this. Right. So you're kind of half on your shoulder half off your shoulder. 
Half it, on your back, half yeah, off your kinda back. Kind of on your, sh- on your uh, scapula or shoulder blade. Right. Uh, you'll feel the difference on your shoulder. I do wake up and I have that shoulder pain. It's like, maybe I should try the pillow thing that You're Bob's. as the- bad as my wife. I know. I know. Oh, let's keep that there, Brad, because yep. we want to show sleeping on the side, right? Yep. Like for the back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this might even be better to show this way, Brad, um, is if I'm on my side and I'm like this, especially if you have wider hips, this the back is going to start to sag here. And if you have wider shoulders, do you want to show how that what I mean by that, Brad? Yeah. So what happens, and this happens to me, I I have a hard time sleeping on my side for more than five or ten minutes because I've got broad shoulders. I don't have the broad hips, but anyways, my back sags right here, and everyone's does because there's no support. You have the rib cage here, the pelvis here, so the tendency for a sag in the mid back. So if you have some kind of back problem, that can be irritated. Uh, so what you can do is you can take a sheet or a towel roll and you put that around your waist um, to fill in that gap so that there's something to support your back so you don't get that sag there. Now, we're white on white here. That doesn't show up very well, Bob. Um, they do make, this is actually a, a sleep roll literally made for this exact same problem. And can you wrap that around? Yeah, sure. Now, that's made so you can tie it in front, and you sleep with it all night long. And it also works double, not only for sideline, but for laying on your back. It supports the lumbar yeah, spine. So now, it's, my back is supported on my side. But like Brad said, I roll onto my back. It also gives me some support there. Right. I, I would definitely try a sheet first to see if it helps. Right. I wouldn't buy one of these. Until you determine yeah. that it actually does help. And, and you can roll it up to different thicknesses depending on what fits you. Um, I'm assuming this is going to help people, again, maybe who have a little more buttock on them, you know, Brad? Mm, sure. Uh, because if you have a larger buttocks, it, your back's going to sag even more when you lay on your back. The same when you're on your side. It's going to, you're going to sure. have, if you have wider hips. Yeah. I would, I would definitely recommend it for that type of person. Uh, stay on your side. Oh, yeah, one we more got, time. We got one thing, more we? trick here. Yeah, we got one more trick. I got to take this off. Oh, Bob, why did you tie the knot? I made a knot. I know. Uh. What was I thinking? <laughs> All right. I'm going to actually go on this side again. All right. right. This is very simple. If you're laying on your side, you have any problems with your ne- hips or knees, just put a, put a pillow between your knees. Yep. Very comfortable, very simple to do. Um, and there it is. Yep. They get a little warm during the summer. And that's why I actually bought one of the wedges. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, during the winter, it actually feels good. Sure. But I, the things that I do, I definitely use the canal throw pillow. Yeah. And I use the pillow between the legs. Yeah. I don't, I got kind of thinner hips and thinner shoulders. Yeah. So I don't need the back one. Sure. Yeah. So. Uh, that's only, that's all for the one for sleeping sideline. position. Yeah. Yeah. So we did extend that out quite a bit. Second one's much shorter. The second position you shouldn't sleep in is prone or on your stomach. Now, we got to clarify this. We could say yep. you could sleep on your stomach, but for not for more than 20, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, right. Because it puts the neck all the way in Look one direction. That. Your neck is turned all the way to one side all the way to the other, all night long if you're in this position. And that's just, joints don't like to be at end range for a long time. Right. So I do, I will occasionally, Brad, sleep on my stomach, but it, it generally is only like 10, 20 minutes. Sure. I mm-hmm. mean, I, I, I won't go any longer than that. Right. And that's as long as I sleep on my side. I go for maybe 10 minutes and then I go to my back. Well, because your shoulder hurts. Because you don't use a canal. Well, and my back hurts too. So, oh. yeah. But you also, sometimes people, when they sleep on their stomach, they put their arms up overhead. Oh, and that's also yes. putting stress on the brachial plexus. And, right. And exactly. You have problems with that too. Your arms go to sleep and you wake up. Yeah. One time my arms fell asleep and I woke up. They were both asleep. He always tells us. I know. <laughs> and I tried to turn the alarm off and I'm hitting. And the alarm fell off the bed, yeah, off the counter. It would have been a good Instagram. Yeah, it would have been a great Instagram. <laughs> so they it eventually have it came back. back so, <laughs> all uh, right, we got our favorite stories. You yeah. know, well, this video I don't know is any shorter than our last, and I thought we were going to shorten it up a little bit. But, anyways, right. we got good information. All right, remember, for you. Brad and I can fix just about anything except for a broken heart. But go. we're working on it day and night. Say no night more. Say no more.